Today I'm gonna show you how to create this neon text effect. This has been inspired from Dansky, shout out to him. Select your text, scale it up. I gotta go with this custom typo that I created and I gotta go to object, path, offset path. I gotta offset with like five to six pixels. Click OK. I gotta select it, right click on group, right click on group. And as you can see, we got the thicker version and the thinner version. So I gotta select it, press and hold shift, select the whole text. And I gotta right click group them. And as you can see here, the thinner text is visible, but here it disappeared because it's under the letter P. So what I gotta do is select the thicker text. I gotta press and hold shift, also select the black background, right click, arrange sent to back. I'm gonna press and hold shift, select all the text, right click and click on group. I'm gonna recolor the thicker stroke with a blue and from here I'm gonna go to the effect, blur and select Gaussian blur. I'm gonna decrease it somewhere around 1, click OK, press ctrl C, I'm gonna go to edit, paste in back, I'm gonna go to the properties and I'm gonna click here on the Gaussian blur and increase the radius. I'm gonna put it on five, click OK, press Ctrl C, go to edit, paste him back. Let's go back to the Gaussian blur again and I'm gonna increase it with 12, click OK, do it again one more time, Ctrl C, edit, paste him back, Gaussian blur settings and I'm gonna increase it so here we got a couple of issues. This glowing effect basically gets cut off and it's put in a square like this. And also if I zoom in, the glow effect is pixelated. So we're gonna need to fix that. All I need to do is go to effect. Let's click on document raster effect settings and I'm gonna change the resolution all the way to high. And in order to remove this box, we're gonna increase the around object. I gotta go all the way to 500 and click okay. And there you go, problem solved and this is how you make the glowing effect in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.